as you may have already heard, Google has just released its first developer preview of the Android 12 update. The company has released over-the-air update firmware for the Pixel 3, Pixel 3a, Pixel 3 XL, and the Pixel 3a XL, as well as the Pixel 4, Pixel 4 XL, the Pixel 4a, the 5G variant of the Pixel 4a, and the Pixel 5. And today I'm gonna to show you how to manually install this update on your device should you choose to experiment with, again, this is a developer preview. There very well may be a number of bugs that could prevent you from using this as a daily driver. Now I'm gonna be linking to the download page for these firmware images in the video description. You're also gonna to need to have ADB and Fastboot tools installed on your PC. And when you're ready, you're gonna to need to boot the, again, either the Google Pixel 3, the 4, the 4a, the 3a, or the 5. This will work on all of these devices. Once you're ready to install Android 12, we're just going to power down the device so that we can boot the phone up into fast boot mode and then over into recovery mode. Now these are official over the air update images so you shouldn't have to have an unlocked bootloader. However, it's something that you probably want to have just in case. So once you have your Pixel phone in recovery mode you can then use the volume down button to highlight the apply update from ADB option. And when you're ready, you're gonna press the power button to initiate that mode. However, first we need to connect the phone to the PC with a USB cable. We then need to open up a either a command prompt, a Windows PowerShell, or a terminal we're gonna to need to open that up in the same folder as our ADB and Fastboot tools. And you also need to have that downloaded firmware in that same folder. Here we have the firmware that I have downloaded that matches my device. It's in the same folder. I've put that in the same folder as my ADB and Fastboot tools. And then this is my command prompt this is my PowerShell that I've opened up within that folder. So when you're ready, we're going to press power on the power button on the phone while the apply update from ADB option is highlighted. That puts us into sideload mode, which you can tell by reading the text at the bottom. And just like it instructs you at the bottom, we're gonna type out the command ADB space side load, space whatever your firmware is named. You can see the, the name of my firmware starts off as Sunfish because that's the code name of the device. And once I finish typing that out, I, me personally, I can just press the tab button on the keyboard to auto-complete that file name However, if you are not able to do that, it may be best for you to just simply type out the entire file name. You can even rename this file name to just ota.zip or android12.zip. You can name it whatever you want. You just need to type out the file name right here. So the entire command will be adb space sideload space and then the, the name of that firmware. When you're ready, just press enter on the keyboard. And that's going to send this firmware to your Google Pixel, whether it's the Google Pixel 4, the Pixel 3, the 3a or the 4a, or even the Pixel 5. It's going to send that zip file to your phone 
not only is the phone receiving that file, but it's also verifying the contents of that file to make sure that it is an official firmware from Google that it can install onto your device safely. We just need to wait and be patient. Make sure that you're not messing with the USB cable. Don't unplug it. And once that reaches a certain percentage, you're going to see the text on the phone change from not just receiving the update and verifying the update, but also installing the update. As long as everything goes smoothly and the download, the actual firmware you downloaded is not corrupt or anything, you sh again, you should see it go from finding the update to verifying the update and then going into step one of two of actually installing the update. And we're still getting a percentage update on the terminal in the PowerShell. We're up to 60% right now. reading 73% in the PowerShell. Again, just waiting it out. As long as the firmware is not corrupt and that you've been able to maintain a solid USB cable connection, we should be able to get through this process without any errors. We're up to 89%. So we now move down to step two of two, right when we hit 94% on the progress meter. Now I did, it looks like I am getting an error in the PowerShell at 94% saying ADB fail to read command, no error. 
It's kind of weird to show a failed to read error or command, but then say no error. Either way, we got status zero with the complete from install and ADB. And once we're done, we should automatically be highlighted on the reboot system now option, which means all we have to do is press the power button to initiate the restart. And we're just going to boot into the Android operating system and into Android 11 or Android 12. Now it's not going to be easy to downgrade from Android 12 back to Android 11. Again, please be sure you are 100% sure that you're ready to play with this experimental build. This is a developer preview. There have been multiple bugs in Google's previous developer previews. And the first thing that you're going to see whenever the phone boots up, and this will uh, appear every time the phone boots up, is the notification that you are on a Android developer preview and gives you a quick way to provide feedback. We're just going to tap on the OK button. And as you can see, Android is finishing up this update. Once we have booted up into Android, we can actually unplug the USB cable. It's no longer needed. You can do that once the device reboots. But I just waited till we got into Android just to be sure. And you're gonna want to be patient again when we boot back up into Android. Let the thing finish whatever it needs to do before you start rummaging around in the settings because that's going to be a laggy experience anyway. And you can see we're actually, we are indeed running Android 12 by going into the settings in the about phone section and then looking, you can see Google is labeling it Android S right now, which falls in line with its previous sweet treat naming scheme. So that is how to install the first developer preview of Android 12. I'm going to take some time to go through the features of this. I may put a put together a new Android 12 features video. Let me know if that's something you want to see in the comment section below. But as you can see, it is very easy to install this update. It's just a, a little, it just takes a little bit of time waiting for the update to install over the USB cable. But considering this is a major update to Android, that time process is something to be expected.